Over the past four years, I've made over 350 videos working for a company called Motion Array. Hi, Jordan here, filmmaker and video editor. And after a while of doing the same thing over and over and over again, I started to realize something. I was wasting a lot of time, usually by doing exactly the same thing for every single new video. So I wanted to show you a really quick solution to help you stop wasting time in Premiere that'll help every single new project. But first, let me quickly go over how I was wasting time. For you, the specifics might differ a little bit, but the concept remains the same. For me, every time I started a new project, what I'd have to do is create a new sequence with the right sequence settings, place down an intro card, section headers, an outro, sound effects for each of these, and a color grade for on-camera sections. And in most cases, I was also placing down exactly the same music track. Adding in those elements shouldn't take that long to complete, but it's not crazy to think that it might take between five to 20 minutes, depending on what your project needs are. And when you multiply that over the course of 350 videos, you get more than a day's worth of work just placing down those elements. But thankfully, there's an easy way out of this, and it's called a base template. Basically, the idea, oh, no pun intended. Basically, the idea is that you take an existing project with all of those elements already placed down, and you can make this from scratch if you really want to, or you can take an existing project that you've already created and save it as a new name. This way, you have a great starting point, but you're not changing that original project. Go up to File, Save As, and I'm gonna name mine 01A Base Template. You can really call it whatever you want to, but having that 01A in front of it helps to make sure that no matter what folder it's in, it's gonna appear at the top. And I'm gonna place it into a really easy to access place. Okay, now strip out everything except for the elements that you wanna have when you start out with a new project. A tip here is that by deleting it from your project window, you actually get rid of them both from your timeline and from your project window in one click. And then finally, save. Okay, cool, so we've created our base template, but now we actually wanna know how to use it efficiently so that we can save time in the future. When you're ready to start a new video project, instead of going down to Premiere Pro right away, open up the base template that you just created. Okay, cool, so we've actually cut out all of the work we need to do to get to this point, but here's where the trick really lies. If we start working with this right now, creating our video, we actually risk changing the template and hurting ourselves from actually saving time in the future. So right off the bat, take your project and go up to File, Save As, and name it as a new project that you wanna work on and place it into that new location you'd like to save it. So now you're working on a project that's completely separate from your base template. So you were able to save time working on this project and you're able to use exactly the same method for your next video. Even if you have to use different elements like a different music track or change the text for one of your elements, or you go through branding changes and update the look or color of all your stuff, Adjusting and changing something that's already down on the timeline is almost always faster than creating something new from scratch. If you create the same kind of content more than once, this is sure to help you to spend less time as an assembly line worker and more time being creative. And guys, I hope you found that really quick tutorial helpful. If you did, consider sharing it with a fellow video editor friend or somebody that you think could actually use it. And if you really thought it was helpful, consider liking and subscribing if you think that my videos could help you in the future. And if you wanted more in addition to this channel, you can always check me out at my full-time job at motionarray.com. Thanks for taking the time and I hope to see you again really soon.